Hello dear students, we will learn about data types of PLSQL in this lecture. So, uh, each value in PLSQL such as a constant, variable and parameter has a data type that determines the storage format, valid values and allowed operation. So, we can say every data uh, uh, has some type and that is known as data type means which defines the type of data we are using in PLSQL programs or blocks. Basically, there are four kind of data types which we can use in PLSQL. Scalar, composite, large objects and references. Scalar value uh, with single values with no internal uh, components such as numbers, dates or boolean. Large object or we can uh, say pointers to large objects that are stored separately from other data items such as text, graphic images, video clips and sound, sound waveforms. Composites are the data items that have internal components that can be accessed individually, for example, collection and the records we can say. So, we can say composites are the a collection of scalar type of data types. References, these are the pointers to other data items. Now, the what is the scalar data type? PLSQL scalar data types and subtypes are numbers, characters, boolean, date and time. So, what is number? Number is, we can say, numeric data type, numerical values on which arithmetic operations are performed. That are called number data type. Uh, it can have integer also, a form of number data type. Characters, characters are alphanumerical values that present single characters or strings of characters. Boolean, logical values on which logical operations are performed and the date and time which represent the date and time. So, uh, there are many subtypes of PLSQL uh, data types which are as that if we have using number or numerical data type. So, its subtypes can be PL integer, binary integer, binary float, binary double, number, DAC, decimal, numeric, double precision, float, integer, int, small int and real. So, uh, PLS integers are the uh, signed integer value in the range of minus 21474836484 through 21474836647 that represent 32 bits binary integers are the sign integers they have also some range in the re which represented in 32 bits also so its range is also same as pl integer pls integers that is minus 21474836484 through 21474836447 then binary float binary float is single precision i believe 754 format floating point numbers then we have binary double binary double we can say this this binary double double precision i believe 754 formatting point then we have number number is fixed point or floating point numbers um, absolute values in the range ie minus 130 132 uh, we can say um, uh, i point zero e 126 it can also represent zero then is dec dec these are ANSI, ANSI uh, specific fixed point type with maximum precision of 38 decimal digits. Then we have decimal numbers or the decimal numerical type, numeric type. IBM specific fixed point type with maximum precision of 38 decimal points or decimal digits. Then we have uh, after that double precision double precision ansi specific floating point type with maximum precision of 126 binary digit then we have float type float type we can say and they are under ansi and ibm they are floating type numbers with 126 binary digits approximate we can say 30 38 decimal digits we can say then we have int int uh, they are integer number with the maximum precision of 38 decimal digits then integer they are also same as int with the um, 38 decimal digit precision we can have small int uh, they also have 38 uh, decimal digit precisions they are also integer type 
then we have re real numbers they are a floating point type with maximum precision of 63 binary digit or we can say 18 decimal digits so they all are the type of numeric data type or number data type we can use this in form of numerical then then we have uh, character data types and their subtypes characters which store character values only that can have first is char c h a r char that are fixed length character string with maximum size of 32764 uh, bytes and then we can have var char 2 variable length character string with maximum size of 32764 bytes then we have raw uh, in the row we can have variable length binary or byte uh, binary and by, byte string with maximum size of 32764 uh, 767 sorry 767 bytes and then we have n char n char uh, it can store uh, th uh, maximum size of 32 uh, 1764 also and they are fixed length national characters we can say then n var char 2 it also have variable length national character strings with maximum size of 32764 67 bytes and then we have long long variable length character string with maximum size of 32760 bytes then we have long row long row is the variable length binary or byte string with maximum size of 32760 bytes and then we have row id row id is physical row identifier the address of a row in a ordinary uh, table we can say if we define the uh, address of a row then it is represented by row id or if we want to represent the address then u row id u u for universal so universal row identifier uh, that can be physical logical and code and row identifier we can say they can be so all these are the character data types uh, apart from we have uh, a boolean data type boolean data types store logical values that are used in logical operations the logical values are of boolean values means true and false or the null values uh, however sql has no data type equivalent to boolean therefore boolean values cannot be used in sql statement so pl sql functions uh, they can have a, a boolean data type but sql statements cannot have these type of data type then we can have date type and internal types we can say uh, date and time if we want to represent the date and time so the date data type is used to store fixed length date time which include the time of uh, of day in seconds since midnight valid dates range from january 1 for uh, 4712 bc to december 31 9,999 uh, um, 9, AD. So the uh, default format uh, uh, is set by the Oracle initialization parameter NLS date format. This is the basic format and that is in the form of DDM, uh, DDMON month and then YY. So if we want to uh, represent any date in the form of this format, then we have to represent it like 0, 1 if we want to give the name of uh, date or date and then the month if we want to say it is a november it is november then n o v and if we want to represent the year then it will be represented like this so d d m m m and then y y so this is the general format which is defined in the oracle then we have null type uh, in PLSQL, null type represent the uh, missing or unknown data and they are not an integer or not a character or a specific data type. Uh, it is a null data type. Uh, so if we want to represent null values, then it can be represented by null data type. So zero is not included in this. Zero is a different because that is an integer data type. After that, we can have composite composite that are store that can store multiple values. So example can be record and collection. Uh, if we are using a collection of integers or like collections of float type or collection of character type, that can come under this category. Or we can say if we have a collection of integer, float, and character, uh, 
that uh, um, that will form a recorder and connection that are stored in the composite data type so we will use these two type of data type in our uh, in our blocks so uh, i have just defined these two type of data type in my presentation so thank you hope you like the lecture thank you very much